Interactive Translation Editor on SDL Machine Translation Edge. You would use ITE when you want to do some post-editing of your machine translated content, but do not want to do it in a separate computer-aided translation tool. The Interactive Translation Editor is powered by SDL GroupShare. So first, I want to make sure that this setting for Use Interactive Translation Editor says yes. And then it's really as simple as dragging and dropping my file into the yellow box. And when it's processing, what it's doing is it's extracting all of the extractable content, and then it's running the neural machine translation on top of it. So after I push that edit button, it opens in a new tab uh, in GroupShare. And what we can also see here is that my instance of GroupShare has a translation memory applied. And because I've demoed this document before, I do have some 100% matches visible. Anything that didn't get picked up from my TM has SDL's Neural Machine Translation Engine applied onto it. So as I am reviewing this translation, if I see something that I would like to change, it's really just as simple as selecting the segment and then making the change directly in it. Because I'm in the United States, I'll change this uh, period into a comma. And then in this case, I'm actually gonna do something just to make this segment very visible. I have made a change here. Granted, you may not have something like this, but this is just to show you what it looks like in the output. So then I'm also gonna confirm my segment. And this is very important because when we do this, we're creating a virtuous quality cycle. That means the next project that I do, the updated TM will apply first, and then the neural MT engine applies and translates the rest of my content. So that means that the quality of the output will continue to increase and I will continue to gain efficiency. And afterwards, it really is just as simple as pushing the download button. So it downloads here as a Word document. I will just open this up and then we will locate the change that I made. So actually we can see it right here. So we can see that the change that I've made as well as changing the full stop into a comma. So now that I've finished with my changes, I can save this. Uh, my project is now finished. And that's all there really is to using the interactive translation editor. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact your SDL sales representative and we're happy to assist you with anything else that you may need. Thank you.